right. Now we have real game one. And I look away for one second and I see my brother getting down aired. That is not good. Sorry. All right. It looks like I'm going to be joined by the one and only Salty Fun. Yep. Hello. All right. Yeah, I'm excited for this. These two have played quite a bit, and I yeah. believe that the record... I am actually don't recall how the record has been going because I know they go back and forth. I think I Ling Ling won the, the most recent time. Uh, I don't remember. They haven't played in like two-ish months. Probably like one and a half-ish. No, they played uh -oh. sooner than that, I think. I don't remember. Oh! <gasps> Snipe the Cypher! Cypher, no sniping. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that turn up alone does enough. I guess it does. Yeah, I, wonder, that, that, I wonder if it's actually um, different than the Super Armor on Snake. Well, regardless, wonderfully calculated by Ling Ling. You can see that he knows the matchup so well. Oh, yeah. And, oh, <laughs> That, that Peach Bomber will actually hit the C4 on the ground. I just want a public service announcement. It's on the white of the Pokeball. Right, right side of the Pokeball. Now it's not. And now it's not. Okay, you know, despite the fact that Bobo lost that really early stock, this is in no way a fair, like an unwinnable position for him to be in. He can close things out. Pretty soon he got the sticky on him, and he blows it up. Fantastic stuff from Bobo. He's at 93%, though. Snake's pretty heavy. He can survive. Oh, nowadays. Sword air at the edge. That's uh, going to do it. Yeah. Game. Not game one. Stock. One more. Oh. Uh, I I don't know why you're dropping shield. Maybe he wanted to carry it. I don't know. But uh, racking up the percent. 58. Probably like 40-ish. Down smash? Sword air? What are these moves? What are they? All right. <laughs> Great stuff from Ling Ling getting a dash attack to forward air. That's just damage. And right now, damage is huge for him. Oh. Even if he loses this stock, even if somehow, you know, Bobo gets a really nice up tilt read. Oh, even that was Late up tilt. Uh, yeah, even if he does that, he's still at 92%. C4 is under the right platform of uh, PS2. Directly under the right platform. Great with that tech chase getting away with it. Ling Ling is still alive at 136%. This time around doesn't actually go for the tech chase. Instead tries to get him off stage. I'm quite surprised he didn't go for like forward throw or something. Ooh. Nair. Another Nair. Oh my god, again he snipes the sniper, but that time he's able to air dodge to the ledge thanks to the higher recovery. Down throw. But 148%. Yeah, Ling Ling looking like he's really got this in the bag. And that wonderful spacing, managing to use that float to get past the Nikita, closing out game one in a pretty dominant fashion, but ended up being a two-stop. That float, that float also covered, like, if he, um, if Bobo dash attacked, he actually would have went over him. Yeah, that's, like, one of the cool things about float. It manages to, just because it occupies a space that normally characters can't really. Yeah. Uh, a lot of those low-hitting moves, like, uh, down tilts, mm -hmm. like dash certain dash attacks, will just whiff. And yeah. that means that you cover a bunch of options just by floating at that height. Yeah, that like kind of like diagonally upward-ish area. Like that's like only certain characters like can hit that round nonetheless. Ooh. 65 no. off the rip. Yeah, oh, look boy. at all of this chunky, chunky damage. Oh, he nared out of it. That was a great parry. Okay, this could be big for Bobo. Oh, and right as it seemed like he maybe uh -oh. got some positioning advantage, he's at the ledge once more. Pressure on his shield, but he gets off of it with a forward tilt. And these ledge traps, they've just not been working out for Bobo, really. Yeah. Ling Ling is just too clever off the ledge, off the stage. Another huge forward air out deep. Ling Ling is, I mean, he's two how many for two on the. I think he's three for three, actually. All of his stocks oh, no. have been off stage, I think. Yeah. So if you're Bobo, that means. I need to recover better. It's hard though, because like Peach Oh yes. Peach but he needs can. to recover better. Up tilt actually gonna kill, okay. Uh you sound surprised as if Snake Up Tilt isn't like one of the most ridiculous kill moves in the game. Oh it is. It is. That boy, that frame six boy, disgusting. <laughs> Kicks. <laughs> These two characters really just did the same thing to each other. Yeah, except one of them did twenty-two percent with it. Peach aerials are insane, dude. 
What? Peach aerials are insane. Yeah, too. but they don't. The snake downer is ridiculous. Yeah, but the thing the thing is about uh, like Peach float is that every time she floats, they're like her aerials are considered full hop, so they don't yes. have the 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 like the short effect. hop. Yeah, the yeah. short hop decrease. That hit him. That was such good spacing from Bobo, and now it looks like he might be in this really nice position. But as I say that, he's put on the ledge once more. That up there. All right, I'm like the disadvantage state is getting much better from Bobo this yeah. time around, especially getting off the ledge. Pretty good get up attack. Was like Bobo. Bobo usually likes to um like empty hop up there, but um Ling Ling hasn't done like like Ling Ling has played around down down throw pretty well. But another another edge guard, <laughs> yeah. considering how how much Bobo was in the commanding lead. Now, do you think a low recovery might help with that? It's hard. Like it's super hard. low recovery? Because he usually has been starting the Cypher. If he starts it from like mid-diagonal, he gets sniped with the... With the... Uh, with fair. With the, no, no, no. With the turnips. Oh, yeah. Getting Sniping the Cypher. And if he recovers high, then he just goes out to meet him with the, with the forward air. So I think maybe those low, lower recoveries... Right as I say that, proving the, me dead wrong! Yeah, I, I was, was, was going to say, like, oh, you know, now I, he just recovers low. Ling Ling was one step ahead, and he met him down there, closed out another stock. That's a 2-0 victory I was gonna, for Ling Ling. Oh, are no, we doing this 3-5? Three three. All right, we get or a game three. First to three. Yeah, no, the thing is, if Bobo decides to recover low, and, like, go, like, super low, and then just go horizontal, Ling Ling can just float at, like, two, like right below the ledge in there, if he has to do that. But, like, he could also just throw a, throw a turn up downward, and then Bobo's in another, like, horrible spot. So, like... Maybe recover super high with C4. I mean, he could... Like, Ling Ling, Ling, Ling just has so many options for, like, edge guard snake. Like, he but has I, an answer for everything. But, I mean, the thing is that when he's ciphering what is normally, like, a safe place to cipher, where it's just, like, you know, pretty deep out there, yeah. Ling Ling is just meeting him. But maybe if he went for, like, C4 detonation to give him that extra height boost that he was too high... You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, C4 is on the snake, and now it's on the peach, and now it's a god. How does Snake get the C4 on himself? Um, he stickies it to someone, and then he, he gets, gets in, No, he gets into contact with someone. So if like, if Bobo grabs Peach, and the C4 was on Peach, it transfers. But is it contact? I thought that it was just grab. So there are other ways to. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know how contact works, or how, con how like, the game defies contact. Ooh, I love that Cypher. That was amazing. All right. All right. So far this game, I think this might be the first time we've seen Bobo take the first stock. And that means it's the first time we're seeing Ling Ling have to make a comeback. And making a comeback against Snake is oh, such a nightmare. And I love that. So he went low again, yeah. but this time around he made sure to be behind me so that the neutral air ended up getting the reverse hit of it and he was able to attack. So we're starting to see that adaptation from him, figuring out when he's off stage, what is the right answer. But then there's the matter of Ling Ling is going to start adapting Ooh. to that as well. <laughs> he's playing with grenades. This is this is what I want. I want to see these ledge traps where he just like throws a bunch of explosives, covers the one option you think you're going to be safe with. Oh but wow! Yes, he shield poked right there. Nerfs be damned. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely. Oh. I think in that situation, would yeah, get up attack like, even worked? Because get up attack, he would have contacted the grenade, right? And the grenade would have exploded on him. Um, no, your your get up, your your like attack will have iframes. But does it have iframes when the attack hits? Up? Yeah. But like even on the grenade explosion? Yep. Okay. Uh oh. So you can just get up attack grenades and they won't explode. Um, yeah. Um, like if you hit the grenade, yeah. All right. Wait. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Another soft spot back air. That's not good. Another air. And air's gonna take it. And now Ling Ling, starting to starting to find out. And they're starting to like be able to get a lead right now. Sixty-two percent. That's nothing to peach. 
Okay, but look at this right now. But wait, you can see a certain respect that he has now. He's like, okay, if I mess up once, I can take tons of damage. I might even die. That up tilt almost finished him off right there. Oh, he got hit by his own Ooh. grenade. They're still about 60% separating these players. Oh, oh the get up attack. It. That was the thing that he hadn't really done before, but we all know of the Bobo. The Bobo special. Yeah, when he, which you guys, we might see it. <gasps> and C4 is on that side platform. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love how, like, how much Bobo. <gasps> Bobo is just, like, letting these C4s rip. This game is so close right now. Nikita going up there. He has to recover extra low. That jab is not going to do it, though. I don't think he has to jump off stage. I don't know if he has a float. He just barely makes it to the ledge. And at this point, he oh! actually gets hit by the up smash. The wow. hitbox on that was huge. Wow. He actually got hit by that up smash. Wow. All right, Bubble putting one on the board. Although, that was a little way too close for comfort. Way, way too close for comfort. I mean, honestly, if I, if Bobo's going to win this, I think a lot of it's going to be about the skin of his teeth. Huh? You know? I feel like if Bobo wins this, a lot of it's going to be about the skin of his teeth. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of close games. I, I, I don't see Bobo. I'm, I don't know. I don't see Lee Ling getting completely overwhelmed by Bobo. No. Like he, like, might, like, he very well could lose this set. Like, already Bobo has proven he? he's able to take these games. However, I feel like... Even if he does, every set that Bobo would win would be like last Super stock. Duper yeah, last yeah. stock, last. So stock like then, so then it starts to become a matter of stamina. Where it's like, can you keep up with these last hit scenarios? Can you keep up with? How's your brother's stamina? Are you doing stamina training with him? Uh, it's fairly pretty good. Pretty good. Jumping jacks. Yeah, I mean he like Herbies. he like reverse whatever. He's like beat Jen and winners, not beat Jen and winners. Uh, On Jen, Thursday he took out Jen. Yeah. Yeah, Jen. Jen beat him in the first set of grants, and then Bobo beat him in the second set of grants. So, like, that's that's pretty good. Like, just being able to, like, not only come back from it, but actually win. Okay, I'm good. liking this from Ling. Look at this. He's being a <laughs> really patient this time around. Floating really high, especially when he's access to those platforms. Uh, C4 is on the ground. You'll see it right there on the right side. I apparently Ling did <laughs> I realize it's much easier for us as commentators not playing the game oh, to yeah. keep track of C4. Oh, yeah. It's so hard mid-game. Or maybe he strategically took the hit. Bubble with a little bit of a lead. 60-ish percent right now. That's definitely something to write home about, but... Now, the one thing is, last game, we didn't see those Edgards. Oh, I'm loving that. Realizing that if he's going to go for high recovery, it has to be from way out there before Ling Ling can intercept him. Yeah. And he gets Honestly, that, the beautiful. He just turns around, shifts his hurtbox ever so slightly, and then that up tilt connects. Ooh, catching him on the DI in, but no nair. He went fast. Goes above the ledge. Yeah, the, the high recoveries on Bobo, like, honestly, I love the idea because, like, if you get hit, like, whatever, you get hit. But if if you try, if you, like, trade or something, or you just, like, set up a C4, you gain, you actually gain something from it. Like, if they lose that interaction, whereas, like, Ling Ling would just go back to ledge, Ling Ling actually, like, he gets hit. He takes some damage right now. So covering high is big, because, like, right there, he traded, like, 30-ish percent just for trying to chase Bobo. So, like, Bobo has, like, a sizable lead right now. Now, of course, you know, Peach can kind of just Peach combo and, you know, get, like, 40, yeah. 50 ish percent. And actually, at the beginning of this game, we saw it was uh, Ling Ling who was using those platforms, sort of raining death from above. This time around, Bobo doing a really good job of using the stage to his advantage. I think he wanted that, though. Yet, something that I see happens with Bobo a lot. You know, obviously, it's very technically, you know, doing Demanding. all those B reverses and everything. And, oh, I hope he doesn't let that phase him. Yeah, he lost that hit in a kind of gross way. But, all right, he stays in it, but that up there doesn't quite kill. Town and city. That is what? plus 11. But, all right, uh, C4 in the middle of the stage there. Yeah, Ling Ling tried to grab the, um, like, he tried to grab after the initial hit of the Morden. But somehow, either the grab didn't come out fast enough or the grab just missed. That was really smart. Oh, that was so smart. He had to detonate the C4 before he could enact that recovery. 
Bit of a risky dash attack there. We haven't really seen him go for that. Yeah, I mean, like, that was the, that was the, I'm going to do this, the one time, and he still got punched for it. <laughs> Oh my god! 74%, 86, and the, the numbers just keep growing. Each combo. That C4 is on the middle platform right now, though. Another forward air. It's uh, really big. These super high recoveries no of his. Notch. Great Tomahawk. The C4's on there, though. Uh oh. 70% on Ling Ling. This is starting to become. This is platform pressure. Oh, backwards. Okay, he gets knocked off the stage once more. Taking a deep breath right now. Greg gonna explode. And now, oh, this will be hit! Again, is it? I'm telling you! Okay, if Bobo wins this set, it's gonna be by the skin of his teeth every single game! Look at that! He has the stamina! This is the stamina check, and he has it. My boy's been metaphorically running. Oh my god. Yo, he's. Bobo's actually, like, super fit. Like, he does. He used to do wrestling, but when we moved to Tucko, there's no wrestling team. But he just, he like, he did football throughout um, uh, middle school, and now he's, like, he's still doing football in high school. So, like, he definitely has, like, a lot of, like, physical stamina. And that can kind of, like, translate into mental stamina. Listen, if you start sweating Doritos during your set, that's not gonna, it's not a good look, you know? <laughs> if you're, like, sweating Mountain Dew because that's the only, uh... <laughs> because the 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 moving the controller is physical exercise for you, <laughs> and the crazy. only fluids left in your body are like sports drinks. Yeah, that's gonna impact your play. Yeah. Also, like, actually, at a much more real level, having like good mental health and hygiene and physical health and hygiene just matters so much. For you. It improves your performance so much. Yeah. Jesus, you can already you can already see like shades of like start the start of the last game where Ling Ling is just kind of like. Platform camping, he's thrown them. You know, I actually, I may want to redact my earlier statement. Mm -hmm. There is a chance that if Bobo could win this game, by a lot. Because if he manages to get a big lead, if he manages to get some big play under his belt, that could shake up Ling Ling, you know? I There's a big difference between having something crazy happen to you game four and something crazy happening to you game five. Yeah. I I honestly feel like your, your previous statement was kind of right because, like, the times Bobo has won was where the times were like her sur his survivability <gasps> was through the roof. Because like if you think about it, like game one and game two, Ling Ling edge guarded him so much that like yeah. it, it it mattered that like he couldn't live past like 120. But now he's at 150. And yeah, like the, the the adaptations on the recovery were exactly what he needed. Peach, you know, kind of can struggle to kill sometimes, especially in neutral, especially when she has to be <laughs> mindful of about seven million projectiles all at the same time. Yeah. Now, Bobo hasn't really been able to get a big hit in for a while, but he is living, and that means he might be able to get some damage here. Beautiful <gasps> recovery, but he follows through on him, but he's alive. That like, that just like patience on Ling Ling, where he just. Chased Bobo. Oh, that was so smart. Knew that he had to air dodge to the ledge, and he's able to be there to intercept him. And now this is where things could really just escalate beyond control for Bobo, or he could maybe, you know, get back in the driver's seat. He needs to make some type of momentum shifting play right now. Yeah, this is like this is like the biggest lead Ling Ling has had in general, like throughout the whole. Uh, set. He, no, uh, well, during games that he's won, he's had uh, like this lapped him in percent. Yeah. But like, this so is the, game this one was a two stop. Yeah, this is the first time he's had like a big lead though, since like game two ish, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Ever, ever since then, it's been really neck and neck. But one solid up tilt, one good read from Bobo could even up the stock count. Uh -oh. And they, as I say it, 63. there it is, sixty-three percent. That's nothing. That's nothing for Snake, especially considering the fact that Bobo has been surviving on average like one fifty percent and above. Oh, but that's really big. He has to recover low. Here he goes high. He's going to end up going for the C4. No, air dodge to the ledge and gets away with it. That kind of shield can actually punish? That's crazy. Not a lot of characters can punish the side beyond shield. Oh, my oh God. that would have been huge for him, but instead it whiffs, and now he think that back throw. Not right. enough. But, yeah, this is a scary situation for him to be in. Weaving through the upper now. We're going to get back on the ledge. Oh, no. He just goes to the center of the Pokeball just to grab a turnip. All right, and that's that up air. Well, now Bobo pushed to the corner, pushed to his limit possibly. Yeah, he was he's able to get that last stock, you know, 
taken without too much danger and hassle, but now Ling Ling, he's, he's obviously mindful of the up tilt. He knows the yeah. up tilt is basically, like getting up tilted is his lose condition right now. Yeah, he, like last game, he, he got grabbed at 80, he got down thrown and he died. Because Lobo got the one read. The one read he needs. Uh-oh. Uh oh That's okay. big! Oh my That's god, this it. is even! That's it. That's it. Oh this my god, another game by the skin of his teeth? Remember when you redacted your statement? Remember when you redacted your statement and I knew it was true? I'm second guessing myself, but then again, that's if Bobo wins, and this is still a far cry from that. Ling Ling hey. has the lead. Ling Ling still has a that's lot of momentum like, for him. I mean, like, is it a lead if it's like 30-ish percent? Because, like, it's Bobo a lead. Is, it means that he doesn't have to approach the snake. I mean, like, he's not going to approach regardless, though. Hmm? He's not going to approach regardless, though. Like, yeah, we haven't. But now Bobo is forced to approach. Well, I mean, like, Bobo's been, like, cooking grenades and, like, throwing it at him, and sometimes he'll approach with, like, like up smash, run into this explosion, and then do something else after it. Bobo's getting a little bit more button happy. We see him throwing out things like his back air, and then another back air. I wonder if he's maybe trying to, I mean, just, like, what does that mean that he's just throwing more he's hitboxes putting, out there? He's keeping up, he's, like, he's starting to turn up the pace Ooh, a little. Was big. the dot the face. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, a little too oversells on that up there. A little oh, too oversells on that back there. And, you know, we haven't really seen a stitch at all this <gasps> set. <gasps> that oh. was so close. He had the read right there. But Ling Ling dropping that could be huge for Bobo. Might be his really big chance. That C4 is on the side platform. And, yeah, Ling Ling does not want to mess with it in the least. But he is burning his resources. <laughs> uh, I feel like he short hop realized that this, the C4 was on the right side of the stage. And then he fast fell. Oh, my God. This is huge. Oh, my God. Another forward oh my tilt. 20% separating. The C4 is Ooh. on the platform. Everyone is, like, watching this. Oh, my God. This is way too close. There's a, there, is, there is a minute and 30 left, by the way. So right that now, is true. I mean, <laughs> the thing right. is, we probably won't see a timeout, but there is going to be a point be no where time it's, it's going game. to matter. Because they're going to realize, oh my god, I need to make something happen. It connects oh right no. there, but that also means that he gets his Cypher back 100% on Ling Ling. This is a big break point for him. Or can explode it. Oh my god, one minute on the clock. The late back air. I, I don't know why he went for Nikita. The jump air dodge. Oh my god. Oh my god, that forward air whiffing. The roll, that was so good on Ling Ling. There's, and now we are actually in the time damage. He <laughs> gets the dash attack. He takes the set. Oh my by god. By the skin of his teeth. Once more. That's Bobo in winner's final.